bubble, 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 Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. This way, this way. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the line. Walk, 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 walk in the line. Walk in the light of God. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walk in the light of God. Walk, 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 walk in the line. Walk, 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 walk in the line. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. It's a great day to love the Lord. It's a great day to love the Lord. It's a great day to love the Lord. Walk in the light of God. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. That's right. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to love the Lord. Walk in the light of God. Anyway, walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. Ready, set, we. ready, set, let's go. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, oh, yes, we have to die, we have to hold. Oh, there was the soldier, soldier, soldier of the heart on the mm -hmm. gospel mm -hmm. side. Oh, yeah, no one there, yeah, you got all the children to fight anymore. She said, stand up and fight me, high. Oh, we are soldiers in the army. We have to fight, although we have to die. We have to hold. Oh, 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 oh. We heard the soldier. Soldier. He had a heart on the gospel side. Oh, yeah. But one day he got up. He couldn't find any more. He said, stand up. One day he got old, he couldn't find 
finally more, he said, stand up and finally help. Oh, we are soldiers in the army. We got to fight. Oh, yes, we have to die. We got to Please stand for prayer. We'll bow our heads. We'll bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for this day and the sea you have given us. Please keep us safe for tomorrow and every day, every day of life. We thank you for this blessed Sabbath day and we thank you for keeping us safe through this holy, wonderful day you have gave us. Um, we'll use this day to celebrate the creation of your beautiful world you, cr you created. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello everyone, happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Royal Knights Talent Show. Our Pathfinders and Adventurers have practice and practice, and we're here to put on a great show for you. Please welcome our first act. Wait, I have a joke. What's the joke? Well, I would tell you a construction joke, but I'm still working on it. <laughs> Seriously, I have a real joke. So I have a friend named David, and he lost his ID. Guess what I called him after? I don't know, what did you call him? Dave. Wait, isn't that Dav? No, it's Dave. <laughs> Let's welcome our first act, Naomi Henry. I will be playing the piano. Okay, I apologize. We're actually ready for Naomi.
ashamed of what I've done, but i become. These hands are dirty. I dare not Wasn't that amazing singing? Now I have another joke. Why didn't Jonah... Wait, it's my turn to give a joke. Okay, tell your joke. How does Moses make his coffee? I don't know. How does he make his coffee? He brews it, obviously. <laughs> now, now listen to this. How long did Cain hate his brother? Huh? As long as he was able to. <laughs> now for our next now for our next act, Jose, who will be who will be playing a huge instrument. Is it the cello? Yeah. Now welcome to Jose to the cello. 
Now welcome Jose to the stage.
Wasn't that music beautiful? Yes, it was. And now it's time for our skit. Wake up, my people, and come forth. Gabriel. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. I have the file. Brianna Cuddlefoot. Hmm. Seems like a perfect file. But wait, what is this? You often went into stores and walked out with Reuben Tinglefinger. Hmm. Okay. You went on a mission trip to Guatemala. Nice. You fed the homeless. You kept the Sabbath. But wait, what is this? Oh. Hmm, no. You did it because you're trying to find out. No, but no. Xavier Fingle. Xavier Fingle. You killed your brother? Oh, wow. But look at this. I like it. You are good. You gave your life to Christ, and you've been humble servant ever since. This is what happens when you're saved by grace. That was wonderful. Now I have another joke. Why didn't Jonah chest the ocean? I don't know. Why? He knew there was something fishy about it. <laughs> now for the next act, me.
was really good. Thank you. And Th that's and the, the end, end of, of our Pathfinder, Pathfinder Talent, Talent Show. show. Sabbath is over now, so good evening, everyone. Everyone's on to the weather, so I'm it. I'm getting my voice back, so bear with me through this presentation. I'm actually up here tonight to talk to you about Guatemala. So you've been hearing about this since the beginning of the year. God said to us, we need to go to Guatemala, and we're going to make it happen. So our Guatemala trip is going to be in June 2019. We are moving the dates around a little bit because it's travel about the date that we settled on. The 7th to the 13th. So if you have your pens, I wish there were more people here, but you can spread the word to others. And if you have questions after, you can always see myself, Gary, Cherise, Director, Henry. So 7th to 13th. You want to click through the slides for me? Thank you. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. It's Director Robinson. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. I get you. So we know where Guatemala is, right? It's in Central America. And that just gives you an idea of where it is. We're planning to travel. We're looking into traveling from Miami. So just give you a location. It's right by Honduras, Belize. El Salvador, all those countries have been very popular lately if you guys have been watching the news and hearing about the caravan of people that are heading to the U.S. border. So we've been hearing a lot about Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, and that little quadrant that's right there. Next. So we will be going a part of a mission organization that's called Harfen Hearts. They offer mission trips to many countries around the world open a malnutrition center in San Juan. So this is an organization that goes around and they come together and they figure out places that are, well, are in need of um, places to help like orphans and how we can feel the homeless basically. They've been in for about 10 years and we can have us about 40 people to attend. So we have a lot of pathfinders but that means it's open to other members of the church as well. The cost, everybody's been asking us about the cost. It's $1,100 approximately. That does not include airfare and transfers to the airport. So $1,100 plus, we're thinking an estimated airfare around $680. So if I add that correctly, that's $1,780. So let's just say $2,000 if you plan on coming and you're not a Pathfinder, we'll donate the rest to a kid. 2,000, right? So, no, but it's 1,100, 680 for airfare. What not, what's not included is your airport meals, your souvenirs. No, we are not going to feed you in the airport. So if you're flying early in the morning and you didn't eat breakfast, we are not buying you breakfast. We'll do questions after. If you have questions, please see your director. Thank you. It includes your hotels, including the tip at the hotel, so we don't have to worry about anything while we're in Guatemala. It covers food, tip to your person that's even carrying your luggage. We don't hand money to anybody. The organization takes care of it. Visas, if we do need visas, depending on what type of passport you have, the organization will look into that and they will do all the arrangements for you for that. Insurance. That's very important, international insurance in case of an emergency. So we are set on a ticket to come back on the 13th. If something happens, that's an emergency. We have insurance to cover that. The organization will take care of it. So no need to worry if something happens. They will take care of everything for us. As I said, they take care of meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, water, juice, your food, pretty much. Transportation daily to the malnutrition center and editing or oh, ending with being brought back to the airport. So we're being picked up at the airport, we're brought to the hotel. Every morning we're brought to wherever we're going, at the malnutrition center, we're brought back. We're taken care of, pretty much. We're not thinking about anything where they'll take care of it for us. Um, they'll have interpreters. So we don't, if you don't speak Spanish, I wish I did, but they will take care of that for you. 
and on their unforeseen expenses. If something happens and bus breaks down, they're taking us to the malnutrition center, they'll cover the cab to get us to where we're going, pretty much. Make sense? All right, next. We want to donate. We can donate the funds to Offerings Art, who will use the funds to their request. But first, think about donating the money to us that we need to take the kids to go to the Offerings Art. But that's how we can donate. We also wanted to bring diapers, clothes, wipes, latex gloves, toys, baby supplies. We don't want to bring money. That's a bit discouraged when we're there. We are organizing where the organization, we have talked to them, and they should be able to transport those items for us. It's better for them to clear through customs. We're still talking to them about that. We'll get more details as we go forward. But as we get closer to the date, we would really like to take stuff with us for these kids. Okay. That's the last one. So I guess I wish more people were here, but we'd like to just say uh, Guatemala. I want to say, however, that we know God asks us. Be right. One sec. Go ahead, so Ella Locke. Latex gloves, yes. That yeah, we'll find out about that. Talk to the director, Henry. All right, I just wanted to say I was doing some research as to why God called us to go to Guatemala instead of around the street or anything else. And I came up with a few things because Guatemala is the biggest country in Central America. It has the biggest and the highest disparities. That's the difference between high, rich and poor as well as it has the highest poverty rate in the world. That means it's more than 50% of the population is in poverty. What that means, the person that's sitting next to you could be homeless in this room. More than half of this room is homeless. That's a problem. I know we could say, why don't we go somewhere else? We know California currently has the, is starting to have one of the highest rate of homelessness, yes. But the Holy Spirit took me to some numbers. There are over 1.5 million nonprofit organizations in the United States of America. Public charities are almost a million. There are also over 100 private foundations, 510,000 other nonprofit organizations. That includes us, like we do the bread drive, we do our food pantry, you know. That we, there are resources here. If you're homeless and you can't pay your mortgage or something, we have resources. There's soup kitchens that you can stand to. You can go there. But Guatemala does not have that. Think about having to leave your child at an orphanage so you can go to America or join the caravan and try to find a better life for your child, not knowing what's going on with your child back at an orphanage. Currently, I talk about the caravan a lot because the caravan started in Guatemala. It started there with 3,000 people walking with the hope of just hope, just thinking that we're going to get to a better place, and that's it. I think it's up now. Last time I checked, Pastor probably correct me, it's up to 7,000 as it passes through Belize and other places, Mexico, to get to the border. So that's about half of the caravan is coming from Guatemala. So there has to be something that these people are trying to escape or trying to look for a better life. And as Christians, we are here to spread the gospel of Christ and to be an example of love to others. But more importantly, as Christ followers, as parents, and I'm, even if you're not a parent, you're a parent to a child in here, or you know a child that you love or you want to see grow up. Because when we leave this world, the only thing we have to leave them is the legacy of knowing what we taught them and experiences experience we gave them. And I don't think of nothing better than going on a mission trip. You definitely will remember a mission trip. So when you stumble and when you doubt God and you know you will remember that mission trip. So now we have priorities and we have other things in our life going on, but what's more important? What we leave behind, what we experience we give our kids? So think about it, and as you have an extra 10 or 20 or 30 or $100 or 1,000, remember our kids and that we'll like to go to Guatemala. Thank you. I welcome Pastor to the stage. We could do our wrap up, and that's a why. Thank you. I'm coming to you. I'm sick too. How does one sick person come to another sick person? I start you too. 
<laughs> Thank you. Not much of a wrap up this evening, but I just want to um, say that we appreciate Megan and Alexa as the MC this evening. That's a nice round of applause. Congratulations on doing a good job. Right? You you'll be on TV soon. And then little Miss Henry, little Miss Henry has developed into quite a beautiful singer. Yes, round of applause for her. Put your hands together for, <coughs> for her. And then, oh say, what can I say? What a beautiful, this is what you call fine art music. That's what that is, as you heard on that cello. So we are proud of you. And two well thought out skits today, this morning and then this evening. You did it all? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Very good. This is what happens when grace, when you're saved by grace, when I ascended. And Megan, I can't believe I was, I knew, I knew when Megan was born and she's now a pianist. Yeah. There's a place called, what is this called in New York? Huh? Carnegie Hall. That's where you'll go one day. Carnegie Hall. Right? Mission trips are great experiences for our children, for young people. Um, and my, my daughter went on a few mission trips in her time at Oakwood University. And it's in her bones. She always enjoyed a mission trip. Some mission trips you go to, you don't come back with anything but the clothes on your back. And you learn to see what need really is. You know what it is to be hungry? You, when you're on a mission trip, and you wonder what do you think about your own self when you say you're hungry in America. Nobody's really hungry here unless it's the, you know, the homeless and the man in the street. But we are privileged people here. And so I want to support the Guatemala mission trip in New York, in Rochester, New York. We're sitting talking to a young pastor from another denomination, actually a non-denominational pastor. And he and his wife are planning a mission trip to Guatemala as well this next year. And so I said, uh-huh. Well, church in Lehigh is going as well. Guatemala is a place of need, real need. And so here we have orphans and malnutrition centers. You are going to do a great job when you get there. We need some money to help you get there, and we'll do our best to help you get there as members of the church and as we ask the community to come and partner with us. So I want to wish you Godspeed. I think that you need to do this promotion again and we probably have to do it when everybody is in church on one Sabbath morning, okay? So we can get it done so the word can be out. All right? Thank you so much for a wonderful day. I'm going to ask us to rise and say congratulations to our directors, the Henrys, the Brumfield, and the, and the, the Robinsons who take care of the Pathfinder adventurers for us. <coughs> so let's say a round of applause for everybody. Put our hands together, please, and just congratulate for a wonderful Pathfinder Day. And to the Pathfinders and their parents, we congratulate you. I'm going to ask somebody to pray for me to close. I'm going to ask um, Brother Henry here to pray as we close tonight. Oh, you want me to ask Sister Annette instead? Let's ask Sister Annette instead. All right. Can we bow our heads, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your blessed Sabbath day, a day that we could truly rest, which is really to praise your name, Lord. Get away from the world, the work that we do during the week. Yes, we do work in church but it is in your name and to your glory, Lord. Lord, we are pathfinders, we are soldiers, we are your body. Lord, help us to be a light 
in the darkness of this world, Lord. Help people to see us and wonder what about us makes us the way we are so that they can ask questions and talk to us so we can bring them closer to you, Lord. So let us go out and let's reach out to the rest of this community, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you. And we have sprats and dumplings around the back. As usual, dumplings and sprats, go back and get your before you leave, okay? <laughs>